Hi, my name is Anton. I live in Gippsland, Australia. I have a friend who wanted and needed an operation on his spine in lower back region. He could not strike, straighten his body when he stood up. He visited two different specialists to explain to him the operation procedure. Two specialists explained to my friend two different method, methods for, for his operation. My friend is a retired, ret, retired physics professor and decided to have the operation that he thought made the most sense and that would be the best for his body. He chose one of the options from for, from the specialist he thought is better for him. He has had the operation and is now in the recovery phase. He can stand straight and is very positive about the decision he made. He has no pain and is taking time to fully recover. I mentioned my friend's operation because I believe the same applies to all patients ask for a second specialist opinion when a critical operation is needed. What about the doctors give you a prescription for tablets to be taken for life, for life to treat your cholesterol, cholesterol and blood pressure? A person I know lost weight and his blood pressure became normal. He then stopped using the prescription tablets, which his doctor had told him he would need to take for the rest of his life. He continued to keep his weight under control and no longer need the tablets. A similar real story applied. A patient who had diabetes, uh, the, uh, a patient who had been diagnosed with type two diabetes. The man was just over, over the limit with his sugar level after a blood test. The doctor sent the result to an upper health body in his country. The patient re received an instruction and guide booklet and a diabetic card. He is now on the register as a person with type 2 diabetes. This person lost the body weight and the sugar, sugar in his blood dropped. So he no longer has type 2 diabetes. This is another example that we can do something to improve our health without using tablets every day. Those three examples are the reason that the patient with cancer also need to look for a second opinion regarding cancer treatment using different specialists in different hospitals. Maybe it is a good idea to suggest to oncologist or cancer surgeon to give you the options to try an overseas cancer treatment. Some patients with cancer will invest in their health and search for the highest possible result anywhere in the world. To help you with overseas cancer treatment, contact me by email, cancertreatmentjapan at gmail.com. That's my fear, name, and email. Usually in overseas cancer treatment, method is used heavy ion radiation therapy. Latest medic medical technology is available in only a couple of uh, countries. Thank you for watching my video. Good luck and don't.